Are you wanting to share videos from the Google Drive? Hi, Taylor here with Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. And to never miss out on a video, please make sure you're subscribed to our channel and click on that bell so you're notified when a new video is uploaded. For one-to-one -one training, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. There's been some updates in 2020 to the Google Drive. One thing that hasn't been updated is you still cannot select a thumbnail. So whatever screen you see, I'm sorry, that's the screen that is going to be seen. However, you should really only be using the Google Drive to save your file as well as share your files to get it to someone. You don't want to use the Google Drive to share onto social media or to send the videos in an email to be clicked and viewed. This is just a platform in order to get your files to another person or company and save your files. So whenever you want to share your files, you can click on the More Actions button here and that opens up then a share option. Down here, it's currently listed to anyone. However, it typically defaults to your business name. We do have a G Suite, so it does always default to showing that it's only gonna show and send to anyone who is at Financial Potion. And this can cause issues if you're trying to send this video to people who are not a part of your organization. And so you wanna do the drop down and choose anyone with a link. And then you can see here on the right hand side that you can choose to have a viewer so that someone who can only view the video or the image or document that you're sending. You can choose commenter and the commenter is allowed to then add comments to the document or add notes and then there's editor an editor is going to be allowed to actually download whatever file it is that you're sharing and so you would just simply copy link and then you can send it in a separate email At the top here, you can choose to send it to a particular person. And then you'll have down here that you can leave a message. And so this would then send them an email from the Google Drive uh, in order to download your video or photo or whatever it is that you are sending. And so really the key thing that you want to remember is to change this access to say anyone with a link it will just alleviate so many issues when trying to share something through the Google Drive. So I hope this video helps you be more successful in using the Google Drive in order to share your files. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And until next week, stay engaging.